Uh, hello guys, uh, um, today we're going to be covering how to use this uh, little practical uh, script that is free you can find in Creative Crush, it's called App Sim Mesh or Absolute Symmetry Mesh um, I'm going to show you how to install it and what's the usage and what do you actually need it for your rigging um, if you go on uh, on a website, you, you can go into um, this uh, website um, uh, createacrash.com and you can just go and type apps in mesh and then create a simple account it's free and then download this one but I think I'm going to be providing it for you I will put it in the um, VLE for you guys so you can use it um, and then I'm going to show you where to put this file and how to load it up in Maya and then how can we work on to, it, um, to use it later on so I'm just going to just going to minimize this and just going to go back here so I'm just going to go here into um, file and it's going to import, go into the options, make sure it's obj, I'm going to import an obj geometry, the one that we're going to be using make sure single object is ticked, otherwise if you put multiple objects most likely it's going to bring one geometry or one shape per face, so you don't want that, you want it all to be together so we say import, I'm just going to go into my, uh, yeah, let's go to here uh, I'm going to go to here somewhere, classes, brick 2 I think it's in brick two, it's in brick one. Go here, and I'm just gonna import it. So there you go. So I got this piece of geometry. Uh, this geometry has uh, teeth and gum and the eyes and all that. Stuff. So I'm just gonna separate that first. I'm just gonna go here, go into uh, I think it's mesh, and I say separate. And now it's gonna create all those here within it. But we just want. Uh, we're just gonna go here. History, freeze transformation, center pivot. So I'm gonna put the center pivot right there. So we go here, all of it, center pivot. So this guy go center pivot right there. The rest, we're gonna be working only with this, the rest ignore that because that's a sort of piece of geometry, but we're gonna work on that one. So the first thing we need to do is if I go here, like we say on the website, download apps and match, go into your um into the um, um download folder, I think I put it here in mine. Just gonna decompress it, just gonna create a folder, go inside there, I'm just gonna cut this go into documents, go into Maya and here 2017 make sure you put it in the script folder paste that there unfortunately we have to restart um, Maya so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close Maya and I'm just going to reopen again completely forgot about that so you have to <laughs> I think it doesn't pick up the um, script if you don't restart Maya so just gonna go back quickly again and do what I just did. So I'm gonna um, import options. So all the presets there. Gonna go there and find that guy that I did earlier. Selection document class data. Go here class. Go right there again. I'm gonna select the whole thing. Go back into mesh. Say separate. Select everything on the top here. And we go into history information center pivot that all that is there just gonna take this guy and just gonna center the pivot right there and let's see which this guy is just gonna pull him out from that folder put it out there and I'm just gonna press H and just gonna hide the rest I'm just gonna keep this guy here so now if you go here into the mail entry you put us the um, uh, the scripts called I think it's uh, I got it here it's called absolute mesh just like absolute symmetry mesh so if you um, you type exactly as it is, just type up uh, capital S Y M capital M H. You put um, semicolon, and you press enter, and it automatically load up this um, uh, script here UI. And this is the UI that we're going to be working on now. So if I click here and say select base mesh, it will load up that in memory, and it will tell you if this geometry is symmetrical. And the reason we want to be symmetrical is obviously because we're going to be mirroring weights later on when we do the weight painting. We're going to create blend shapes in the future for the face for fixing stuff. So um, it's a good practice to have the geometry um, 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 proper proper symmetrical. Obviously, depending on the character and the scale of the character, we want it to be symmetrical, which is a normal character. If not, obviously this would not uh, apply. But then you can uh, we, you can apply another fixes to that. But we're going to be out the scope of this for this module. Um, if I select check symmetry 
once I load up, I press, first I press select base geometry to so load this up in memory and then check the symmetry. It's gonna tell you that A, there are 4971 asymmetrical vertices, which means that we cannot mirror to one side to another accurately. Remember that always that is gonna be depending on the tolerance here. So if we put here, for example, 1, or yeah, 1, and we say check symmetry, most likely gonna say yes, everything is symmetrical. So you see it's only 78, so it's going to say that obviously one unit, whatever is more than one Maya unit, different from this vertex to the equivalent on this side, is that A is, is, is not symmetrical, but one is too uh, vague, so you have to put something that is quite small so you get more accuracy. But at the moment obviously it's not, so um, what you have to do is, uh, in order to fix that, um, there's a nice trick, you go here into the front, and then I'm just going to delete one side and then recreate it, so I'm just going to go here into face, I'm going to select all these faces and I'm just gonna go here close by very close and I just make sure I select everything here delete that and now but if by any chance the right in the middle uh, edge here is not working or it's not a hundred percent in the middle you just select edge double click that have it all selected yeah and then one nice trick to do is you can just go into uh, user selection and I think here somewhere here called Invert or Convert to or something like that. Control vertex. Select all by type. Convert selection, yeah. Um, you just set two vertices. And it converts everything to vertices. You can do it with edges if you want, but it's I always like to do it with vertices. So go into the front, open this, frame this. And what I normally do is, um, obviously, we cannot. We have to deselect the ones here in the middle of the mouth here because we don't want to go those there. So we're gonna deselect them those. So make sure that only the ones in the line in the middle. So what I you normally do is press four, and if they are not a hundred percent, in this case, I think that this one is sort of a hundred percent. You see, that's where the middle is. This line here. So if you scale them together like this, you are actually making sure they are. Um, on one perfectly aligned one on top of another, then you just move it there. This little movement here, you see this threshold is the number here. So just make sure that it's right in the middle as much as you can. You can keep going even more and be more accurate if you want. You can just go and put it there. So it's good practice to have that. So once you have that, you're sort of within that range. And then um, if we take uh, the pivot, I think let's put. I'm gonna go and fix the pivot. This is not necessary because obviously the pivot was before. But I think it's, r it's not right in the middle. So what we can do is we can press insert and then just move the pivot here somewhere. P press it right X if you want. So you can just snap it there. Press enter again. Doesn't matter at the moment. So we select this guy and then we go into mesh and we say, uh, I think this one here called mirror. We go on the options. It's all fine to the world, cut geometry, merge, and we say apply. I'm gonna close that now. This guy here, you have to keep an eye because, based on the threshold of this, it creates this input here, poly mirror. Based on this number here, merge threshold, it could start merging things that you don't want, like stuff like here that are too close together. But for example, here you see it merges these edges at the end here, and I think what you have to do is merge no, and you go say do not merge borders, so and keep this open. You see. And another way to check if everything is merged is if you go into Windows. I think it is window, no, I think it's display, polygon, and then at the bottom here, the custom display polygon. I always, I'm gonna press Control Shift and put it in my shelf because I always have it there. So it says here the standard, the border edges to make it look that it's very thick. So you put tick on border edges, increases number, so the edge width, and you say apply. You can see here, for example, that nothing is being merged. See, this is still open. Which means, like for example, if you um, go here and select this, you should have two. Um, I think in this case, let's go here. This hasn't been merged because we unchecked this uh, polymer that we said. I think is to bridge merge. This is being merged now. You said bridge border edges. 
and it did it respect this? Well, it closed this at the end here. So we said border edges, and then I think you had to do is put this guy very low, like 0 0.001. You see, and it respects that. So make sure that mer border edges is on, and reduce this number, which is the mer th uh, threshold. It means that if two points are more than 0 0.01 Maya units, then it will be considered to be merged together. So, so you have to be careful as well because sometimes if you increase this number, for example, fairly high, like one you can start seeing that some stuff gets merged that you don't want to so just make sure that number is point zero zero one should be fine and as well in order to test it you know that if you see this thick line it means that it's open when it should be it should be open here it should be open in the eyes nothing should be merged everything is fine here so now if we say select paste uh, we can just go here and say delete history so we get rid of this entry the poly uh, mirror we say select base mesh And it tells you the base geometry is symmetrical, that's fine. So you see, check the symmetry is fine, it's all symmetrical. Now you are working with a symmetrical um, piece of geometry that you later on can you know, work on easily. So, And the reason we do that is because later on, if you if you plan to do blend shapes, like expressions, if you want to do, for example, let's do it here quickly. We say, um, let's say vertex here, and we just uh, increase, press B to increase the soft modification. And then let's say you want to do this, I don't know, this uh, is too... Let's just put this one here. Let's say you want to do a um, a blend shape here. Let's say this blend shape, like the snarl of the nose there. And if you want to say, okay, I'm gonna uh, create a control in the face that when you move it, it creates this um, effect. So you can uh, the animator can animate the snarl and then change the expression of the character. If you're trying to do this on the other side and to make it sure that it's a hundred percent symmetrical on one side to another, if you do it by eye here, it would be impossible. If you want to have independent control, you create one control from this, one control from that, which means that you have to create two blend shapes. We will talk about blend shape later on, but blend shape essentially what it is is um, it's pretty much you take a copy of this geometry and then it's a deformer. You pretty much tell it, look, um, this geometry is going to move and then. Uh, create the original, create the move, and it blends between the two with a little control. So you're trying to create the same thing on this side without, you know, trying to replicate this and make it independent, then it would be impossible for you to make sure that this point and this point equivalent here is going to be exactly in the same position. So what you do is with this, so what you do is, okay, I create this, I say control D, make a copy, and then I create this guy, and I say, okay, because this guy I know that is symmetrical because I already made sure I said, but whatever I did is, I'm just going to flip select it. So I'm just going to go here and say flip select it. So whatever is happening on this side, I'm going to happen. I'm going to make it, you see, now it's on this side and it's exactly the way it should be. Now, if you want to see control D, we're going to talk about this later on. So now you got this guy and this guy. And now if you, if I say put, um, revert select the face so it goes back to the original oops say no let's go what is it called how you do it? revert select it to base well thing is mirror selection S check symmetry how do you do that uh, copy add to strike no Ooh, reverse select it to okay come on I should go back the way it was is it because I make a copy? Oh, I think I don't know what it is. I think it's this guy is this is thirty. We see this at thirty one. Thirty five. Thirty one. This is the original. You see, I need to keep the original. That was my mistake. These two other guys I make a copy. So when you made a duplicate, I have to make this is the one I say reverse selected to base, and it didn't do it either. So check symmetry, selection mirror, select mirror, mirror, flip, reverse select it to face, base. So I think uh, hello, I think it has to be what, select all that and say. Let's see if it fixed it. No, it didn't. Selection mirror. Select move vertices. Mm, I think I broke that when I did that selection. Anyway, so now you know that you have a left on the right side here. I don't understand why this doesn't work. It should it should be there. 
should go here and say uh, flip selected. Yeah. What I can do is undo this. What's the problem with this? Okay, so I think if I say select this and I say mirror selected, I think I clean this how it was. Yeah, so now I clean that as to mirror selector. And now if I take for example these two, one, two, and select the base, then I can go into rigging, the form, and I'm gonna create a blend shape. And I think apply. Now it creates an extra entry here. And the blend shape, these two are the two um blend shapes that are there. So I can have this guy here over there. You can see I can animate this very easily, zero to one. And I can animate this one zero to one. You see, that is the whole purpose of having your si your geometry symmetrical, and obviously as well, it's good when you mirror weights and when you put stuff on the other side, like mirroring the joints. So that's it, guys. This is a really nice um, script to make sure that you um, know how to use it. And we want to discuss it over anyway in, in, in the class. So, all right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Bye bye.